Hi everyone, I'm back to share my personal Cricut challenge that is due on November 26. I'm early with it, but I figured, hey, I have it done. I'm going to video it and get it in early so I'm not late. I do my personal Cricut challenges with my friend Misha at Scraps and Things 1. Hi Misha, I'm going to post a link below this video so you can head on over, check out her channel, and show her some YouTube love. Get some more inspiration. Anyway, she challenged me for our last project in November to do a fun fold Christmas card using one Cricut image. I used the Cricut cartridge Wrap It Up and on page 64 I used the snowflake and I cut it out here and then on top of that I layered I punched out with my punch here, EK Success Punch, a smaller snowflake, which I don't think, yeah I do, I have this smaller one and I layered it on top of my Cricut Cut, because I just liked the that look of that, and I didn't want to layer in the star. So that's the Cricut cartridge I used, and then I also used my Tree Punch from EK Success, and... I used some of these gems that I had here. This came in a card kit a while ago. I don't know where I got it. And then I also used some snowflake gems. And the really cool thing is these these were plastic. And I wanted to cut one of my snowflakes in half. And I was actually able to cut one of the gems in half as well. So I could layer it like that. And just using my nippers. So I was super excited. I didn't think I could do it um, without cracking it, but it worked really well. So if you had a, a set of sharp nippers, you can cut those in half. Um, anyway, we're due to do a fun full card, and I found a tutorial from friendsgatherinc.com. And it's a written tutorial on how to make a double Z fold card. I've never tried one before, but I'm going to scroll here and show you hers. Really cute, right? And then she gives underneath it the step-by-step -step on like the measurements and where to score it. Um, and I followed it and just kind of looked you know, at the picture, referred back, and made my card. So that's where I got my inspiration. I'm going to post a link below to this tutorial so that you guys can head on over and check it out. If you'd like me to do a tutorial, just let me know and I will. Sometimes people are better visual learners than looking at directions. But anyway, this is how my card turned out. So this is the front and it says let it snow and I have those little tiny gems here. I have my tree that I used all the gems on that I cut out. This is my border and my snowflakes in the background and it opens up like this. So I thought that was really cute. It sits like this. Really cute Z-fold. So over here I stamped. I used from this stamp set here, Cloud9. Um, it's called C9 Stamp 4x8 Christmas. And I used the leaves here and the berries. And then the Merry Christmas sentiment I just had this stamp in my um, stash I got at a yard sale. And then the Santa and reindeer silhouette in the background, that actually came from this one and that's called Holiday Silhouette and that's from Inka Dinka Do. So those are the stamp sets I used and that's how it turned out and those are my snowflakes and like I said I wanted to cut that one in half and it actually worked out that I could cut the gem as well and then here I just used a piece of border that I had the paper pad I used actually was from a new pad I got this year um, it was one of those hot buys let me set this aside and it's called Safe Freeze and it's really pretty because it has, um, let me show you, it has this paper here where it has a bunch of borders. So this is actually perfect if you want to make one of these cards because you can, you know, get a lot of borders out of this paper pad. And I bought that at Michael's, so. 
Okay guys, so that's my card with my Cricut image and that's the last project for the month. Um, so if you guys have any questions, let me know. And if you want me to do a tutorial on how I made this, just let me know. Leave a, a comment in the comment boxes below this video and I'll get one done for you. Okay? Thanks so much for watching. Take care. Have a great night.